Welcome back to Under Oath. I'm tired of people getting sued over my entertainment. If I'm watching something, I don't want to know about some backstory where somebody says, oh, I was defamed. I was this is liable. I love when people always claim that issues happen. Oh, when you, you watch a movie, you get invested in it, you believe what the movie tells you. And then later on, you're reading news and it turns out, wait a minute, that movie that I watched that I really enjoyed and I told my friends about, some of that wasn't the way they said it was? Based on a true story. Based. They didn't say all of it's true. <laughs> who's running Who's running the rules on at what point you can say based on or this is an actual depiction? Who, who gets to decide at what point you can use those, uh, those prefixes? I think anytime you get in a relationship, I'm basing myself on what you want. Not true. I'm trying to say that, oh, hey, guess what? There was an earthquake and uh, outside of that, Everything's nonsense. Now, Baby Reindeer. Haven't seen it. Heard it was a fantastically popular movie on Netflix. Is I that think, true? Did you I, see it? No. No. I, I, I saw parts of it, and I was like, it just seems like it's unsettling for me. I don't like unsettling stuff. Well, I, it might actually have some relevance to you, because the, the person in the movie, like you, did stand-up comedy, and one of his fans... Went a little overboard. Do you, you, this this might be right up your alley. You might want to watch the, the whole movie. Based on the idea. Yeah. Now here's some of the arguments made. They 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 ramped up the crazy. On what? On supposedly the person that might have had this character based on them. <laughs> <laughs> See, I know how not okay. to get sued. So there's a protagonist and an antagonist in right. the movie, and so they really really ramp it up. Did a, a, a huge characterization yeah. on, on the antagonist. Yeah. They made it look like the contacts were just through the roof, like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of texts and everything. Uh -huh. And she's like, well, they're 16. And I think there's a difference between hundreds and thousands and possibly 16. I don't know. But the point, the point of it is, is when you say you loosely base something on something. Now, if that was a celebrity, I might be a little more lenient going, oh, come on. Celebrities don't get that same, you know, benefit that regular people get because it has to show they're trying to be mean. Now, supposedly You're talking about defaming a yeah. celebrity it has to be actual malice. Right. Now my problem intent. my my weird thing about this is this. I think anytime you use a real person who didn't put themselves out there to become this joke in society, I don't know. I think if you say some things and you kind of put it out there that this girl who's stalking you and this person's easily found. It wasn't like they're going, Oh, I wonder who this is about, man. You, you could find out who this person was really easy. And that's because the internet never forgets. Right. Tweets are never really ever deleted. You can always go and find it eventually. Yeah. So this scenario, this, this, uh, person who has a law degree from uh, the Fiona. UK, the UK yep. Fiona Harvey. Uh, said, listen, come on. You know, there's this is a, too much. I did stalk you, but not the way I'm a little crazy, but not as crazy as you made me. Semi stalk. Not as crazy as you made me seem. Yeah, you made me look like a lunatic. <laughs> I'm only slightly deranged. I mean, isn't that isn't that what you'd expect a lunatic to say though? They, they would say, "Wait a minute, I'm not actually a lunatic. I'm actually mostly normal," because they really think that. What level? So of Fiona probably thinks. That she is mostly normal. Does she think she has a... Do you think that people have a right... I'm different because I'm on the radio. You're different because you're on the radio. But let's just say a regular attorney who never put themselves out, never did any real advertising, mm -hmm. you know, works for a firm, hasn't done anything, and somebody writes a story about the firm, but channels this character and says, this guy is the worst devious liar that's ever existed. And everyone knows they're talking about you. In the movie, the comedian over the course of several years has harassed, stalked, and sent over 41,000 emails, 744 tweets, 100 pages of letters, and 350 hours of voicemails. Now, here's the thing. She says- So, your typical average fan. No, no. Hold on, no. Right? No, that's, that's totally normal. Fiona says- I'm, I'm kidding. 18 tweets, a few emails, and one letter. Okay. That's a huge difference. Those- both of those statements cannot exist in the same. No, they do not. Now, is this embellishment or is this just 
Not even close. Yeah, I think if if it's true. Do you have to be honest if it's just based on a true story? If you're talking about a real person, you have to know whatever it is that you say about them or imply about them is going to have some sort of effect on them. And we take Especially out the celebrity popular, status. Like, but we take out the celebrity status. Yeah, sure. Okay, just a regular person. But okay. but regular people don't typically have stalkers. No, I, I know you do, but 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 most regular I don't know. people don't I, have I, stalkers. I have semi stalkers. They're the ones that well, just I mean, in the I middle mean, of the night I mean, go. I mean, I'll, you've, what you doing? You've assigned me to pull them off of you before. I have never assigned. Well, what stalker? <laughs> Give me some initials real quick so I know. Well, you back, oh, okay, okay, okay. You, you backed okay, off okay. and never to wait which one real I'm quick. I'm trying to figure okay. out All right. how I got stalked and whether I liked it or not. No, you didn't like oh, it. Some people like their stalkers. Well, yeah. Some people well, actually guy, go out with their stalkers. This, this guy's whole movie is, hey, look at me. Look how badly I was stalked. He loves the attention. But based. Yeah, based yeah. on a truth. Yeah. Not the real story. Why does he get to say based? We don't know what the truth is or not, but you're telling me that it could be truthful, the part that I'm seeing. And how am I supposed to determine? Should there be a light on? <laughs> Maybe a little green light that says, oh, this was a this true is part. Actual, this is actual. I've seen a movie like that that had uh, um, The Rock in it and... Uh, uh, um, Mark Wahlberg. Oh, the rest, the weightlifting movie. Yeah. Where they, where they robbed yes. the guy. And that one was allegedly based on a true story. And during the movie, a, a caption would come up. Yes, this actually happened to let the audience For know. Emphasis. Right. To say, like okay. he was barbecuing the guy's hand, trying to destroy the evidence that they had a body. So one of the scenes is the rocks out there barbecuing a hand. Because he's trying to get rid of the, the the evidence, and that that thing pops at the bottom. Now that thing popping at the bottom. Did you watch this movie? Yeah, a I know why you watch it. Why did I watch it? Muscleheads. No, it was an interesting movie. Oh come on! A oh, bunch of weightlifters committing a homicide. That's like you and your buddies. Well, of course. Okay, all right. <laughs> I can relate. But so, uh, what I'm saying is this: is that you have this you have this a woman, but and she's yeah, like, let me finish I, the point though. Go ahead. The, on the screen, it said, "Hey." Pain and gain. That's right. Thanks. Well, our, our producer just said. So on the screen, I actually said this is actually real, and I believe that it is actually real. I don't know for sure if it's actually real, and I say this with a bit of disappointment because one of my very favorite series on TV is a series called Fargo, and I just recently. I'm. You guys might think I'm dumb, but I just recently found out that those weren't true stories. The beginning of the show, it says. The names have been changed to present uh, to protect the innocent, but everything else is told exactly how it occurred. And I, my dumb ass is reading that, and I believe them. Yes, because they told you it was. I believe them. It wasn't until I went to go try and find out what happened to some of these characters that I found out, actually, none of it's true, or almost none of now it's the guy true. Who wrote it, the guy who wrote it in accident says that he changed her name. <laughs> Change her her name. name was Fiona, so he called her Biona. Beulah. I mean, who knows? But the, I called her something else. But the but the point of it is, I mean, can I? It was should a simple I, matter for somebody to, to go to his page, look at his tweets, find right. out who it was that tweeted him around those times, and of course they're going to figure out. He should have known that they would figure out that that's who he was talking about. Well, who do you sue? Think about this: the lawsuit. You sue, of course, the people who created it. Can you sue Netflix? This time you can, because this is a Netflix product. Well, they were just paid for it. Netflix no, this didn't is not, it. no, Netflix did not acquire the rights to broadcast it. They produced it. They filmed it. It was their film crew. It was all, Netflix okay. completely owned, controlled by Netflix. They have some, some of the stuff that they have on, on, on Netflix is their own property. Well, Netflix has what they have deals. They have a deal with this person, like The Rock and guys like that. They have deals. Yeah, you can you can buy you can buy content that's been produced, okay. so that you can broadcast it, or somebody can come to you and say, "Hey, listen, I need this money, and I'm going to make a movie, and it'll be yours when I'm done with it." And that's the kind that that Netflix who sets owns the bar the in this one. See, okay, everyone listening, every law, every rule, everything else is based on you know, factors and criminal law, it's called prima facie requirements, meaning like what is the actual criminal charge and what are the elements? What are the elements that when you use a term, this is a true story, this is based on a true story. 
don't have to use any of those in this context is going to be my position. And here's my reasoning. It's entertainment. I am producing something to entertain you. If you actually think that what I'm saying is true, makes you enjoy my product more, then I'm going to say that. And I'm going to get more people to come enjoy my product because I'm not required to tell the truth in any sort of entertainment that I'm putting out there. Use that word entertainment like it doesn't apply to everything. Everything we have has a price tag on it. The news, newspapers, everything. Newspapers have advertisements. Uh, news shows have advertisements. News shows have ratings. Papers have total amount that comes out. In fact, you pay for advertising based on how many eyeballs that have seen the something. The difference is the news how? holds themselves out. Really? Which one? TMZ? A different TMZ? No, not TMZ. Why not? Well, They're a news source. Well, it's it's Fox, fair and balanced. Fair and unbalanced. MSNBC. What MSNBC yeah. and Fox are as far left and right as you could go. Uh -huh. And they don't ever say, well, it's 100% the truth. In fact, a lot of their stuff says, oh, it's our opinion. It's not the news. It's our opinion. Yeah, that's true. But they hold themselves out as a, at least in theory, an organization that though they may have a bias, they're going to present basic facts about current events. That's what they do. They, they characterize them, depending if they're left or right, but they present basic facts that actually happened. Hey, this president was here. This senator attended this conference. And then they make up stuff sometimes about why they attended it or why they didn't or why they voted this way, why they didn't. All that stuff is, is subject to opinion. But when you, when you turn on the news, you're expecting at least some similarity and grounding. In fact, when you turn on Netflix, you do not have that same expectation. So where are her damages? You know, unless you're a dummy like me, and they start off the movie saying, oh, this is totally 100% true, and, and I'm dumb enough to believe it. Now, the argument is in this case is there's a little different verbiage in this one. This is a true story. That's the argument now. They didn't say based. This is a true story. Does that change anything? No, because that when Netflix says this is a true story, it doesn't really have to be a true story. Netflix is in the business of entertaining us, not giving us bits of facts and then giving characterizations of them. They are in the business of entertaining us. They can say this is a true story and it not be a true story because that part, that line from the script, that's part of this fake story. Let me change just the little facts. This is a true story is a part of this fake story that we're going to present to you. Let me say this. I'm at Comic-Con next month. Mm -hmm. All right. Somebody comes up to me. They go, oh, we like your books. But you got any stories about your office? And I go, well, my partner does some weird things every once in a while. And they go, okay. So we want you to write something up. And I said, this is a true story. I don't use your name. I change it to, I change it to <laughs> my partner who has a different name, but you don't actually have a different yeah, partner. I it It'd to, be easy for them to find out it was me. I change it to about. like uh, Bob Webster and uh, <laughs> Bob Webster is my partner uh -huh. and he does weird things. And I change your sexuality. I do things to you. Everything else you go. Everyone knows your partner. You, I've been your partner for 28 years and I'm going, well, I don't use your name. Yeah. yeah. And we're going to take now you're a lawyer. She's, she's got a degree in law. You know, it could affect her professional ability too. I think it's defensible. I think it's defensible. I don't think you have so to be. So I can be, torture you. I don't think you have to be. If you, if you say this is based on a true story. Or this is a true story? Or this is a true story because saying that this is a true story as part of the story is what makes it more entertaining. I don't think you actually have to say it. I, you don't have to be factually accurate. That's part of the story. Okay. If the Lord of the Rings started off and said, this is a true story from 23,000 years ago. Well, you know not to believe it, right? Because you're watching a movie. So no. you should know. I didn't. I didn't. I'll be the first to admit. I didn't. When I see that this is a true story, I took it literally. But if I'm watching a movie, I should know that anything that I see during the course of the movie is part of the entertainment, including the script at the bottom says this is a true story. I call shenanigans.
because I'm going to take it to the next level. There have been songs and rappers and everything else who've been sued about making comments in their music, which we could clearly agree is entertainment. And they've had to write checks. Who? They've lost rappers. Which you have to give me a, a, a certain uh, chastity. He'll pull some up. There's well, been some big on. cases. D did somebody settle out of court because they didn't want to go? I don't believe the law necessarily required that they Eminem. Eminem, yeah, he settled all his cases. He no, his daughter, his he didn't have any jury, went to court. No, no jury ever decided anything with Eminem in it. He made comments about his ex. No jury decided anything with Eminem in it. They settled. I don't think he can okay. use the fact that somebody's a little bit shy of litigation, and so they settled I paid the millions case. of dollars. That doesn't for mean it. that he was wrong. So he so, doesn't want his oh, name oh, dragged oh, in. So six people. You think it's different than a jury of six people yeah, make a decision if, if, based if on in, somebody. If okay. you're in a jury, if you're if you're on a jury and you're trying to decide if the people who made a movie have done something wrong criminally or civilly. The juries are never wrong. Now, so the 18 tweets, we know for a fact at least 18 tweets existed. So the guy extrapolates 18 tweets, which are a little bit off the wall, arguably. And he says, okay, that's excessive communication to me. So I want to I want the audience to understand that this is excessive communication. So I'm going to I'm going to be so over the top with how excessive the communication was. I'm going to make up how many that hours it felt of voice like 4000. I'm going to say 40 something thousand emails. I bet you you know if if you calculated out the amount of time that it would take for her to do all of those things, probably it would be impossible for her to have done them, unless that's all she did is sit around and Wilt email. Chamberlain, for example. Remember Wilt Chamberlain said that he had slept with 10,000 women? I remember something like that. Yeah. He goes, in his book, he wrote, I slept with 10,000 women, and they realized the math would be like three women a day for like 10 straight years. <laughs> that's good. That seemed a little excessive. <laughs> now, so the, he probably wasn't being Now, the hard, hard thing for me is this. If you write something, and I, I've seen this happen to us, it seems Where, like you're trying to defend Fiona. Yeah, I am defending Fiona. Because she's a real person yeah. and, and people have taken entertainment that on its face is not meant to be literal. Yes, it is. You they might tell have you a it's better literal. argument. They tell you it's literal. It might, you, no, because they use they the word tell based. You. No, that's not you true. You even said yourself this. Not true. No, they said this is a true story now. You said there's no difference between base and this is a true story. No, that that... that for entertainment on a movie, you might as well say this is a true story if you're going to say it's based. Remember you watched the movie. You just mentioned this in the Rock movie you watched where you go, the minute they said this really happened, you go, oh. Yeah. I was like, oh my God. Did that okay. Really I don't, but now, I don't know. I don't know if, if they, that really happened. Now, if they, said, if they said everything in this movie happened, everything was true. Mm -hmm. And let's say I'm in the movie and they have me sitting there running around sticking, you know, like popsicles in my butt 24-7. Mm -hmm. I'd be going, hold on a second. I am not a butt pop school guy. And I would want, I'd say they just portrayed me in a bad light. Not that there's anything wrong with sticking popsicles in your butt, but yeah, I don't want that. that. And now people look at me differently. See, I can't get dates. You know, things are wrong. That, that does seem disordered. I think that you could make an argument that there was something wrong with that. Okay. They're but, making her look like she was a lunatic stalker. 18 tweets. People do 18 tweets in a day. Yeah. Is it an unfair characterization? 4,000? Yeah, so it might be an unfair characterization. Can you no, sue? No, it's a for, lie. Can you sue for unfair characterizations? In fact, in fact, in law, when we decide, we decide what stalking is, a pattern of conduct over a period of time without a legal purpose. Okay, if you were in court with a judge, and the judge goes, "How many? T how many tweets over a let's say a three month period?" You go, um, eighteen. Okay, just well, gonna... no, it can't be just the number. It has to be the context. Okay, of let's just too. say it's eighteen. And then you go, I want to kill you. 4,000. I want to kill you. Okay. Number well, two. let's say it's a sexy. I want to kill you. This number was like three. sexy time. I think 18 no, no, enough. This, no, this is like sexy time. He, she was like, hey, listen, I want you to do Oh, that. I want to, I don't want to kill you. I want to have sex with you. Yeah. Okay. I want to have sex with you. Yeah. Number one. Okay. I have sex with you. Number two. Okay. If she was doing over, that over a three month period, doing that to a lady, but over a three month you period, you wouldn't have any problem with calling that And not stalking. once does he say, I don't like this. Oh, you're victim blaming now. No. Oh. I'm talking it's about big, it's the victim's fault for not objecting. No. Yes. Correctly. Yes, it is. <laughs> I, I absolutely agree for you're a man, get, you're get for a woman, for a, no, no. If a woman contacts me over a three month period, goes, Hey, you know, you want to bump uglies? You want to do this thing? And I'm not, and I'm not in a relationship and well, I don't say, Hey, this isn't my thing. You can't be rude. You just don't say anything. Yes. I have to let it yeah. know that it's not, yeah. it's not okay. I don't like it. Do you? 
I think Isn't there do. some stuff that you, you can automatically assume that the person Let, doesn't listen, like Listen, do you it? know how many times I allow somebody to say face because they'll say something like, uh, hey, yeah, and I, you kind of like go brush it off and go, hey, ha, ha, I was just drunk calling you. No, I get it. Don't worry about it. Or when they go, oh, you look so good. You go, I go, oh, Photoshop. I make jokes all the time when, when people say things like they're come on lines. But there's a difference between if somebody tweeted me 4,000 times compared to 18. We know there's a huge difference. Okay, it, but what what was the artistic message that the movie was trying to portray? She's nuts. Yes. But she wasn't nuts for 18. She was nuts for 4,000. Right, but it's better in the movie for her to be nuts. You don't want her to be just a little weird. You want her to be over the top weird. So I got the idea of having this lady that was over the top weird from well, this, this lady who in real life was just a little bit kind of weird and it made me uncomfortable. If I'm on the radio and I'm talking, it's part of that entertainment. And I say something like, oh yeah, I once dated this girl, you know, she lived in my closet, blah, blah, blah. And she never did it or she never did these things. Lived in your closet. Yeah. I'm not talking about this one. I don't want to get sued. Um, Wait a minute. <laughs> You can't just drop that I think I on me I think and I say can. I can't talk okay. about it. What girl lived in your closet? Okay, I'm not, see. I'm going to get in trouble because it's my word against hers now. Thirty years later. Okay, I was. Li I was. I'm not going to say what college because you're not going to be able to look it up. But um, I dated a woman for about a week or two, and um, we broke up. I didn't even think about it. it. Wasn't you don't have a breakup when you only been dating like two weeks. Yeah, you just don't call each other yeah, anymore, you just, right? you yeah, just yeah. kind of blow each other off um, based on a true story. And <laughs> no, this is exactly what happened. I will tell you exactly what happened and without any without any things. Um, my neighbor upstairs was, was like pushing a uh, mattress up to the second floor. So I hopped in. I said, let me help you. And I'm helping her get the mattress up there. And and we're talking, she, she knew my name. She was like, oh, hey, Jeff. I'm going... How do, you, how do you know my name? She goes, I'm good friends with your girlfriend. Well, she's your neighbor, so. I, I never met her. Okay. How would she know? Well. I don't have my name on the door just place. You know, most people don't. And she was like, I said, how did, how did she goes, oh, I'm good friends with your girlfriend. I go, I, I don't have a girlfriend. And she goes, I'm changing the name. Sally. Sally and I are friends. Who's Sally? She's your girlfriend. I go, I don't have a girlfriend named Sally. You must have the wrong Jeff. Yeah, I think this is it. She goes, she goes, I've seen her coming in and out of your oh, apartment. <laughs> when is this? We have lunch like once or twice a week. B -b 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 what? And she goes, this is fascinating. And I was like, I was, I was like, oh, and then it hits me. Wait a minute. Six months ago, I dated this girl and I'll call her crazy Sally. Um, I go, crazy Sally. She goes, no, no, just Sally. I, I always had a weird feeling in my apartment sometimes. That I'd be there and I felt like there was like, you know, you don't think you're a ghost or you think you're checking closets, you're doing weird things. I always had this weird feeling that there was like being watched and I had no clue and everything else. And then I had to get my locks changed and everything else like that because this person was my neighbor said that this person comes in and out of my apartment all the time. Okay, but you don't know that she was living in your closet. She was just visiting and probably looking through your stuff. I think she was sleeping in your bed. I always, had, I, always had, I, always had, I always had a bad feeling, but that was crazy Sally. Now let's say it was easy for you to go through my history and find out who crazy Sally was. Yeah. And I tell this whole story about crazy Sally used to watch me have sex, used to watch me do these things and everything else like that. And I said, it's a true story. It really happened. Yeah. But I think crazy Sally could sue me. Yeah. I think in that context, she could. What's it just in a Netflix show? Because you're not, you're, 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 Saying, hey, everybody gather around. I'm telling you a real story in a non-movie or solely entertainment purpose. So it's different when I'm getting vehicle. paid for it? It's different in, in, in how you present it. The mm. format in which you present information. If you are presenting information in the format of a movie, I think carte blanche. You, how about, you can how about almost I, how about do I make a bet anything you want to do. How about I put 100 bucks on that they settle this? Not oh, that it gets sure dismissed. That Not that it gets dismissed. Yeah, of course they're going to somebody's writing a check. Yeah, of course. Okay. In that case, hey, good for you, Fiona. Hope you get that good settlement check. Because you know what? 
It's a lie, and you're trying to make more money off somebody else making other person suffer, and you should write a check. And on that note, I'm done. We'll be back in a few. Bye, Crazy Sally. <laughs> <laughs>